Hi, Big Tractor Power fans. This video comes to you from a far western Kentucky soybean field where a big 50-foot-wide McDon FD250 flex draper head is harvesting the crop, powered by a Class 8 Fent Ideal 8T combine. This machine is rated at 538 engine horsepower and features 24-inch dual helix rotors for threshing. It comes from the factory with a standard 350 bushel grain bin and can be ordered with an optional 485 bushel grain bin. In this video, I would like to share with you the production history, specifications, and list price tag of the McDon FD250 Draper Head. I'll also take you for a ride in the Combines cab to visit with the operator to talk with him about what it's like to harvest with a 50 foot wide Draper Head and the Fent Ideal Combine. But first, let's head out to the field so that you can see and hear all this harvesting action. McDon has been manufacturing farm equipment for over 70 years in Winnipeg, Manitoba. The company first entered the harvesting market in 1951 with the release of a self-propelled windrower. The brand's newest innovation in harvesting is its FD2 series of flex draper heads. Introduced in August of 2021 and going into full production for model year 2022, the FD2 series includes seven different models. A 25 foot, 30 foot, 35 foot, 40 foot, 41 foot, 45 foot, and 50 foot header. The FD2 series of flex draper heads from 30 to 50 feet offer 20% more cutting capacity, 30% more speed, and 70% more flex. The FD2 series of flex draper heads features McDon's clear cut high speed cutting system that delivers clean cutting up to 30% faster. The improved knife drive with more power and new knife section geometry with 25% more cutting service provides a smooth close shave to the field and brings the crop into the combine where it belongs. The FD2 series models from 30 to 50 feet feature an ultra deep deck of 50 inches. This deep deck allows for 20% more capacity in the tallest and bushiest crops. McDon's FD250 header features a strengthened design over previous models while lightening its weight using aluminum components. This header weighs in at 8,382 pounds. Interestingly, it's only 382 pounds more than the company's largest header in the previous series, the FD145, a 45-foot 
Flex Draper had the list price for the FD250, according to McDon, is $185,137. Now that you know a little bit more about the features of the FD250, let's take a ride in the Combine's cab and visit with the operator to see what he likes in using this wide harvesting header and talk about how it performs with the Fent Ideal 8T Combine. Thanks for the ride. Yes, sir. Ideal 8T with the McDon FD250. It's pretty impressive watching this 50 foot draper out here harvesting the beans. We can see the soybeans piling here into the bin. has a nice two-stage mirror where the operator can see the unloading all here very clearly. Nice view of the whole side of the combine. And then it has the lower mirror where you can see the tracks down there underneath the machine. So it's pretty impressive to have this 50-foot head out here in front of a Class A combine, but yes, it's sir, it moving is. right along. Yes, sir, it is. What kind of speed are you getting out of the combine? Uh, five and a half to six mile an hour. Uh, you get in some real good yielding beans, you might pull back to four and a half, four, four and a half. But uh, other than that, it's pretty impressive for a for an eight class eight combine pushing to fifty. It definitely doesn't seem to really know what's out there. No, sir, it it, it pushes it really good. It it it'll grunt every now and again. It'll let you know, but. Other than that, it really does a good job. How, how have you liked the Big Dom? I know you've had the, the older ones uh, for many years and big step up to a 50 footer at header. Yeah, I, I like the coverage that we're, that we're getting. We're getting more coverage with the 50 than the 40. But uh, just the this header, I think it has 30% more drape. It's faster. Uh, I love the three reel. It's got the triple reel design where you don't have the bar in the center. Yeah, definitely a much better view. Yes, sir. It's, it's got a lot better view. But uh, they really, they, they stepped up their game with the, the FD-250s and the 40s. Imagine you find yourself getting a few more acres in a day. Yes, sir. I went from, usually I cut around 180 and I'm up over about almost 250 a day. That's, that's significant. So you, um, the farms had axle flow combines in the past and Yes, sir. Going to the ideal now on one of your machines. How do you like that? Uh, well, I used to run the, the 8230, and uh, step up from it to this is it's been a big difference the horsepower wise and uh, the cleaning. I really like. I like a lot more things on this machine than I than I do on the other one. The comfort in the cab and uh, the monitors. Uh, I do the joist. I mean, just the joysticks a little bit nicer to me. Uh, just from running, I run combines. 10 years and uh, you know start out on old 1460 and stuff like that it's kind of a big step up to a big uh, big machine like this but uh, power wise and, and service and everything we, we've really enjoyed it 
Yep, it's got that nice three-year warranty with all the yes, sir. fluids and filter changes and yes, sir. guaranteed loader machine in 24 hours if there's a problem. Yes, sir, and they, uh, they keep it updated. Uh, every time there's an update for it that gets put on and uh, you know they, they really give us good service. How do you like the tracks? Uh, going from a tire machine to the tracks, it's a big difference. The ride is a whole lot smoother, compaction. And the uh, biggest thing is we we crossed two bridges up here and, and the, the dual tire machine, we have to haul it across on a trailer and this is the time I can go straight across. I don't yeah, have that's to, a, that's a big plus for us. It's an easy feeling with a, the weight of a combine going to yeah. that, uh, across a narrow bridge. Yes, sir. So what, what kind of yield and moisture are you level are you seeing this year in your harvest? Or? Uh, the beans have been running anywhere from about 8% to 11 and uh, the yield's been hanging around 50 to 50 to 60 push up in the bottom it's a little bit better up here but I mean it's, it's had its good and its bads with the you know we didn't have a whole lot of rain and it's uh, definitely been an extremely dry year yes sir and uh, we had to replant some beans later and, and we, we it's been better than we, we was really thinking it was going to be now does the are you able to adjust a lot on the header from the combine is it uh, a lot of automatics or is it i uh, just your, you can adjust your reel up and down height uh forward and aft, the speed uh you have a mcdonald has it where you can turn your belts on or off you can, uh, you can set them on any setting you want and uh you can adjust the tilt of the header uh but other than that it's that's about it uh they're, they say they're a whole lot easy to set up and adjust you know from a mechanic standpoint I don't know if some of the mechanics really like that part. I know the other ones, they had to get the wrenches out and measure this one's got gauges. And... No, it's definitely a nice, easy hookup right down there. Yes, sir. Great view of uh, the harvesting action. Here we can see the grain cart tractor coming in to unload the combine. It's got that big 30 five foot unloading auger out there with the extensions in it to get past the 50 foot draper. The Ideal 8 has a standard four bushel per second unloading rate from the factory and it can be upgraded to an optional six bushels per second unloading rate which is the fastest in the industry at the moment we can really see this grain pouring out and it's got a nice reach and it allows the 50 foot head to keep on rolling we can see it has the camera there for the operator to see what's going on inside the cart we can see those beans pouring out well, I appreciate the ride along. Definitely a yes, sir. impressive combine, and look forward to seeing them more out, more of them out in the field and the header. Yes, sir. Glad to have you. Thank you. I hope that you've enjoyed spending some time out in the field as well as up in the cab with this Fent Ideal 8T Combine and McDon FD250 Flex Draper Head. I'd like to hear in the comment section below this video if you use a draper head on your farming operation, tell me about the brand and the size of header that you're running. If you've enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube, where there's over 2,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you would like to see more harvesting content from the channel, continue to watch for a few more seconds to the end screen for a direct link to more Big Tractor Power YouTube videos. As always, thank you for watching.